guys, it's Ricky with TechPuts Garage, and in this video, I wanted to break down exactly uh, what my plan is with the Lamborghini Huracan 610-4, uh, and how much money am I going to lose uh, while owning this specific car. So, one of the things that I want to bring you on over to first, this is the LP610-4. So, there's two specific kind of like base models. There's the 580-2, which means that it has 580 horsepower and it's rear-wheel drive. And then we have the 610-4, which means that it has 610 horsepower and it's all-wheel drive. So, therefore, the 4, right? Uh, the only one that's, you know, above this is the overall Huracan Performante, uh, which is way above um, any of these two prices. Uh, the reason that I went with this one, the 610-4, it's viewed to be a little bit more desirable, but I don't even want to get into that. How much did I buy the 610-4 for? I bought it for $180,000. Uh, just like you guys saw in yesterday's video, I talked about this little niche that I really focus on in the Arizona area. This Lamborghini actually belonged to a foreign student from China uh, and he recently graduated, had to fly back and had to get rid of the car for a cash buyer or someone that can pay quickly. If I'm not mistaken, the initial asking price for this car was about $195,000 to $192,000 and was able to negotiate my way down to $180,000 thousand dollars flat and the really cool thing about Arizona like many of you guys know I just want to make sure that it's made super apparent is that we don't pay sales tax on private party sales so when it's a person-to-person -person sale I don't have to worry about sales tax all I have to worry about is registration which is prorated so if I only keep this car for two months out of the 12 months then I get a refund after I sell the car if that's the case so one of the things that I want to show you about this car that I actually really do enjoy myself um, is kind of like the red interior so it's a red and black interior I think it's a really cool design I really like how you're able to turn on the car with kind of that, that jet start where you have to flip that little lever up uh, and then actually do that push to start so I think all together it's an absolute beautiful car for anyone that is a car enthusiast I would say regardless if you're a fan of Lamborghini or not now you have to admit that just visually uh, the Lamborghini is super super appealing uh, but you know one of the things that people always ask is it's a depreciating asset right I'm going to lose a ton of money especially at such a young age because you know I don't know what it is that I'm doing and I'm not here to try to prove anyone wrong um, all I want to ask you is I want to test you try to find a private party right private party sell for a Lamborghini Huracan uh, with one that has less than 9,000 miles 9,000 miles or less clean title no accidents an absolute just clean title and that's exactly how I found this car so if you find maybe uh, through a dealership one posted for about 180 185 thousand one of the things that I want to remind you is that if it's going through a dealership you're gonna have to pay fees and on top of that you're going to have to pay sales tax which is about 8 to 10 percent on top of your overall purchase price so take that into consideration now one of the last things that I want to talk about that I know you guys are just going to ask me to cover is how much does it cost to insure a Lamborghini Huracan especially for someone under the age of 25 one of the things that I want you guys to know is that I I put my primary car as my daily driver uh, as the Maserati Ghibli which is the least expensive car that I own and again if you know kind of like how to insure your cars to be a little bit more effective uh, that's a way to be able to do that um, and then when it comes down to the weekend cars or the cars that I don't drive very often that is where the Lamborghini and McLaren fall into place and the really cool thing about that is you know since I don't drive them very often I don't have to pay as much because I'm not viewed as much of a liability so to put into perspective the McLaren 720s which is a a car valid at $350,000 or more only cost me a little bit over $2,000 every six months to insure. Lamborghini Huracan 610-4 cost me a little bit under $1,600 to insure every six months. And again, huge shout out to all the people out there in State Farm and I've also had a very clean track record with them. And again, thankfully no tickets, at least under my record. So altogether, uh, one of the things that I just wanted to show you guys is, you know, to sum this all up, how much is it going to cost me or how much money am I going to lose on the Lamborghini Huracan 610-4? I bought it for $180,000. I'm keeping it for about six months, so I want to add, let's say, another $1,600 on top of my initial $180,000 investment. And where does that put me at? Some of you guys might be saying, what about gas? Uh, what about you know the potential liability of 
you know, needing to do an oil change or any maintenance or anything like that. I had the car fully serviced and made sure that before I bought it was inspected by a Lamborghini specialist that within the short time that I planned on owning it, that I don't have to incur any of those expenses. Again, anything can come up uh, within owning, you know, a supercar, uh, but I made sure that I did at least and put in my effort to make sure that I set myself up for success because I'm aware of how expensive these specific cars can be when it comes down to overall maintenance or if I get in an accident or anything of that sort. But let's say, you know, two or three months down the road when it comes down to me selling the car, how much can I get for it? I want you to do your own research. You guys know about Offer, you guys know about Leco, you guys know about Craigslist, CarGurus, Facebook Marketplace, and Cars.com. Do your own research. A 2015 Lamborghini Huracan through a private party sale in the Arizona area with less than 9,000 miles. The cheapest one is valued at over $200,000 that is private party. There are some with relative miles, right, that are posted for about 185 to about 190, but that is not including the dealer fees and sales tax, which is about 15 to $20,000 on top of the initial purchase price. So even if I end up selling it for $185,000, which would be an absolute steal for anyone that ends up picking up this car, I still walk out with actually making money owning a Lamborghini. And that is exactly why we emphasize the importance of being a deal hunter. So I really do appreciate your guys' time. Again, if you guys want to learn a little bit more on how we find the best car deals in our area, I obviously did not start you know, buying and reselling supercars. Uh, it started with my 2012 Honda Civic. So if you guys would like to talk about you know, picking up on this new hobby and finding the best car deals in your area, I would love to work with you on a closer basis. Click that first link down below and let's jump on a call and see if the flipping wheel seam would be a good fit for you. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. I hope that you guys could subscribe. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.